And welcome back to Ranked Seasons here with Diamond Dynasty. We've got a good one here. We got Mike Mussina going back on the bump tonight for us. And we get to see Chris Sale? Yeah. I mean, our opponent's pitching an 88 overall Chris Sale. I think he's parallel four, so up to a 92. It's still, though, a card we should mash on. I mean, I really think we should have a lot of success against a guy like Sale. We'll see what we get out of him here tonight at Ship It Stadium, by the way, folks. And also make sure that subscribe button, too, if you are in the channel. We just hit 10K earlier this week. The 10K special video is coming out on Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, we get Chris Sale. We work a 2 0 count here with Jazz Chisholm. 2 1, just kind of seeing what he's got. Obviously, Sale, you're going to see a lot of sliders. That's really all you're going to see out of him, especially lefty lefty. That's what a lot of guys will go to. Of course, the fastball in there as well. But we've worked now a 2 2 count. So, Sale again against Chisholm on the lefty lefty. Sale's going to deal. And okay, I mean, going to get, get us with a slider away. Not a horrible pitch. I'm okay with it. Now, Trout's going to come up on the 1 2. And yeah, fastball right to the middle. Trout takes the right center field, especially here at Ship It. That ball's getting up and out of here. Mike Trout's going to make it 1 0 just like that. But again, in a game like this, nine innings here at Ship It. You got to expect a high scoring game. You just got to. Josh Bell's now going to come up from the 3 1. We're going to hit that one back up the middle. Bell's going to be on it with a one out single, which brings up the big hurt on the 1 0 pitch. Frank Thomas going to get under that slider. That's just, that's just a bad swing by me. That's a, that's a pitch I got to hit out. It's that plain and simple. Two gone now in the inning for Troy Gloss on the 0-2. Gloss hits one back up the middle. That one's going to get through as well, so we'll take it. We are going to hold Bell at second. They are on first and second now with two outs for Mitch on the 3-2. He's going to pull one to left field. It's going to be caught. The line out. So we've been over it in the last Diamond Dynasty video. By the way, the Diamond Dynasty playlist is in the description if you missed any of the Diamond Dynasty ranked season videos posted earlier here on the channel. But yeah, we went over this. So many, so many lineups. And if there is a diving play made by the opponents tonight, I will personally hit a dive in my room. I will do it. I will just, I, I'll like the last video. Again, you can't see me do it, but just trust me, you're going to hear it. So anyways, he's going to have a runner on first. This guy's team's not the greatest. I mean, he's batting guys like Luis Robert at third and, okay. That ball is going to get away from Mike Trout. He's going to send both of the runners. we got to hurry up with Mitch here. Okay, he's going to hold second and third, I do believe. So, yeah, second and third with one out. It's a one nothing lead, of course, for us. Jordan Alvarez now comes up on the empty count. Jordan hits one right to Frank Thomas. Oh, the error by Frank. We can't go home and we're going to get nobody. Oh, my goodness. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, they're at the course for Mike Trout in the 2-2, hitting one on the ground. Troy Gloss to second, to Chisholm, Chisholm to Frank. We're going to get out the inning, still tied at one. We'll take it for how that inning started. It's all right. So one gone now in the top of the second for Adley Rushman. Rushman going to blast one in the gap. He's officially taken over as our starting catcher instead of Carson Kelly. So he's on second with one out. We are going to bunt him over now with our pitcher and Mike Musina. It's a perfect bunt. If Musina just had a little bit more speed, he would have been safe at first. But it's all right. Run around third, two out to see if we can bring him in with Jazz. Jazz strikes out for the second time in this game. Okay, so we go to the bottom of the second. Rafael Devers up first. Musina is going to get him to pop out on that fastball away. Adley Rushman is going to be under it. One gone now here in the bottom of the second. Now for our opponents will be his catcher in JT Realmuto. 3-2 pitch, Musina. I don't know how dudes just take that. That's such a close pitch. They just don't even swing. And they get the benefit from the umpire right there. And now he's going to line one up the middle with his eight-hole spot. Turners on first and second, one out. Chris Sale doesn't bunt, so instead he just swings with them three times in a row. He'll strike out. So two gone now for Ray Durham. Runners going, and yeah, it's going to be a walk. They are loaded with two outs for Eddie Matthews on the 2-2. Matthews hits one in the center. We got to get this Trout. He does. Oh, my goodness, Mike Trout. Oh, that could have been bad again. That could have been really damn bad. So we start off the top of the third. Trout hits one hard in the ground right to third base, but Eddie Matthews is going to put him away. One it down for Josh Bell, the leader of the book club. Lining one to second. Again, the line outs in this game sometimes. Two down for the big hurt. Frank Thomas not going to hit it as hard as Trout and Bell did. It will be a fly out into right field. So still 1-1 one, one as we go to the bottom of the third. Musina coming back out for Luis Robert on the 2-2 two, two pitch. Again, this guy's team isn't the greatest, but at Corey Seager, that's, yeah, it's going to get through. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Robert's going to be on this 96 speed to lead off the inning. Jordan Alvarez now on the 2-2 two, two pitch. Runner going. Jordan hits one in the center. Robert's got to hurry up and get back to first base because we're going to come right now with Mike Trout. Pause pause one down the inning okay robert's back on first for the other mike trout trout in the deep left i don't think we're gonna rob anything with josh bell bell is horrible defensively yeah okay great we're down three one against a team that really isn't all that i mean the win expectancy now for us is 19 percent. i think it was not ideal 
That one's going to be a fly out in the center. Mike Trout is under it. Two down in the inning. Let's see if Musina can get out of it because JT Realmuto now comes up on the 0-2 and he'll strike out looking. So we got to do something, right? And we finally got to get the bats going. We're, you know, hits totals 5-4. Trout at the home run earlier. That's our only run. That's a hard line out to center field, Troy Gloss. I feel like we're figuring out Sale, though. And I'm not, I'm not showing you pitch by pitch, but while I'm playing this, this guy with Chris Sale's throwing a lot of balls, a lot of stuff outside the strike zone. We just had to be patient for our pitch in this one. I know it's not really showing it right now. I mean, we're down 3-1. But here, we're building a 3-2 count, and finally we get a hold of one. So that's what you get for, you know, watching pitches, waiting for stuff. We get a slider. Perfect, perfect in a deep right field. Has that ball even landed yet? Corey Seager makes it 3-2. That's why he's in the lineup instead of Michael Young, who can't hit. Adley Rushman comes up, and what is going on here? Uh, okay. Rushman's on. Problem is Musina now comes up, and oh my goodness, we line one to right field. Mike Musina, get over his head. Oh! Thought that could have been a hit. All right, we're only down by one at the crown zone. Jake Cronenworth leads it off in the bottom of the fourth. Mike Trout making these spectacular plays out in center field. One gun for his pitcher now and Chris Sale. It's actually gonna be lined to get into center field. It's a pretty good hit by Sale. Yeah, really good. I mean, both pitchers hitting the ball pretty well. Trout will catch it though. Two gone the inning now for Durham on the 0-0. He'll hit one into center as well. There's Mike Trout. That'll do it for the fourth inning. Let's go to the fifth. We're down by one. Jazz Chisholm struck out twice in this game and that's not, that's not much better. Popping out on the inside fastball. One gone just like that for Mike Trout. On the oh, oh Trout hits one in the left. That one's going to get through. Mike Trout is on with a one-out single for our squad. Making way now for Josh Bell on a full count again. We've worked the count. We're building up sales pitch count, and he's going to walk, does Bell. So now Frank Thomas comes up on the oh, oh the big heart. Get yourself some damn eugenics. Oh, my goodness, Frank Thomas. Way out of here. Let's go, dude. Finally take the lead, 5-3. to three. 424 feet off the bat of the big herd. I mean, that card is so good. And there's a reason why we kept Josh Bell in the lineup. So we can have Bell and Thomas back to back. And there goes Troy Gloss. Back to back bombs for the Diamond Dynasty squad. And I even mentioned he brought in Liam Hendricks, who's now in the game. But both home runs were off of Hendricks. This is what happened. So Sale walks. As a, there was going to be an error at short, I think, by Cronenworth. Yeah, okay, we're going to be on. But there was um, the 3 2 count with Bell and Sale. We kept fouling stuff off with Josh Bell. Eventually worked that 3 2 count, and we walked with Josh. So he brings in Liam Hendricks. First pitch we swing on the inside fastball by the big hurt. And we take the lead. And then, of course, Troy Gloss goes yard as well on Liam Hendricks. But Hendricks will get out the inning again. He's given up four runs. But it's 6-3 to three as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Musina's still pitching for us. Eddie Matthews going to hit one. Hard opposite field going back on it. Those leader of the book club and Josh Bell. One gone in the inning. All the momentum, though, shifted back to our side as Luis Robert comes up hitting one opposite field as well. He's always laying on that fastball up and in by Musina, hitting one to the right to Mitch Hanniger. Two gone for Yordan Alvarez on the 2 2. Swing, kind of venomous. Okay, we'll take it. We go to the top of the sixth inning. One gone for Jazz. You like Jazz? He takes one deep left field. Chiz oh, I thought that was out. Oh, good. All right, then. So, two down in the inning for Mike Trout on the 0 1. Trout hits one on the ground, and it's going to be a play made at third by Eddie Matthews. We now head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Trout up now to the plate for him. Musina, by the way, still going for us. He's doing pretty solid, especially at a game at Ship It. Only giving up three runs through five so far is a pretty good outing. So, see if we can continue it. So, Trout again, it flies out to Trout. One down for Rafael Devers on the 3 2 pitch. Did we get him? Didn't. Okay. So Devers is going to get on with the walk. Musina's got 89. JT Ramuto on the 0 2. Chase is up and in. Okay. So two gone. Musina's got four strikeouts. Can he get Cronenworth on the 2 1? He will. So a very good six innings out of Mike Musina. Only giving up three runs in six innings again at Shippett Stadium is a very impressive feat. We will go now to the top of the seventh inning. Frank Thomas with one out is going to walk. Troy Gloss will now follow on the 0 0. Hitting one on the ground. That one is going to get through. Frank Thomas will not try for third. Probably the wise move right there. Runners on first and second with one out to the plate will be Mitch on Devin Williams. And that one is going to be down to third. Should have brought in Grady Sizemore, 100%. I mean, I, I should have platooned him. I do that some, but I don't know why I didn't do it right there. I guess it's the three run lead and, you know, kind of think we have it at this point. But there you go. We bring in a Robert Chapman. He's the first reliever, of course, for Musina. And as soon as he steps in the game, it's going to be a leadoff double. So Ronald Acuna is on with the double. Durham now comes up on the 0-1. He's going to get popped out, though. Fastball up and in by Chapman. 101 on the gun. There's the big hurt in Frank Thomas. Won it down now in the inning for Eddie Matthews. Lefty, lefty, 2-2. Two, two. That one's hit on the ground at 2. Corey Seager. Acuna dives back to second. And now he's going to try for three. Oh, we threw back to second, man. Because normally dudes do that right, and they bluff, and they, you know, they go back to second. That dude just went for it. I mean, we're going to get him to end the inning right now here in the bottom of the seventh. But that dude just straight went for third base. Respect, I guess, but 
Man, we go to the top of the eighth inning. David Price is now pitching for him. Should be an opportunity for us because this is the 85 David Price, not the 92 Cy Young edition of the card that you see in the big dog packs. But we'll see what we can do. Adley Rushman comes up with one out, hitting one up the middle. That one's going to get through. Rushman's second base knock of the ball game. He had the double earlier. Now he's going to have the single. So one gone in the inning. Runner on first, Andre Dawson. His pinch hitting has been so good off the bench. Dawson in the left field. I'm going to have to start this guy. Oh, oh, it's going to be caught. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought that ball was getting out. Two gone for Jazz Chisholm on the full count. Again, still working the counts against this guy. And Chisholm's going to blast one deep left center field. It is off the wall. It should plate a run. Jazz Chisholm now makes it a four-run lead for us. Seven to three here in the top of the eighth. Again, it is that bonus you get for continuing to work counts. And eventually, you know, in pitches like this, oh my goodness, the dive simulator. Wait, why he wasn't even covering first base? I don't know what's going on. I, that, they were going to probably not going to have us at first base, but Cronenworth dives and I don't know who his first baseman is. Doesn't even cover the bag. Okay, uh, this game sometimes though. You go to the bottom of the eighth inning and okay, we bring in Zach Britton. Your Don Alvarez goes lefty lefty and gets him. Didn't think that was going to happen. It's 7-4, to four, three run game. Mike Trout now comes up on the 0-2. Britain, though, is going to get him to go on that slider in. One gun in the inning for Rafael Devers. Lefty, lefty, full count. Got him. Would have been ball four, but he chases the slider away. Two gone for JT Realmuto. He's got him. Sinker up and in. Don't take that damn pitch. To the top of the ninth inning. It's a three run game, make it a four run game. The Big Hurt gets home run number two of the ball game. In a deep right field, he takes Chapman opposite field. That's all you need to see in the top of the ninth. The Nats go up eight to four as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Jake Cronenworth up first for him. We still have Zach Britton in, and Britton's gonna strike him on the sinker. Now we bring in Tom Hankey. He's got Mike Napoli pinch hitting. Doesn't change to a lefty, and instead Napoli's gonna hit one into right. There is Mitch. Two gone for Hankey to try to close this game out. The batter will be the lefty in Durham, and Durham's gonna pop one of the switch hitter in Durham. He'll pop one out into foul ground. There is Troy Gloss, and we're gonna pick up the victory. The shootout at Ship It is won by us. We will win it by a score of eight to four. And folks, that'll do it for another Rank Seasons episode here on the channel. The squad keeps on winning ball games. I don't know what the Rank Season record is right now. What is it? 16 and four, I think. Doing pretty well, man. After 20 games, about 16 and four is a pretty good way to start off the season. 14 hits, though, by the way, for us. We doubled his amount of hits and runs in the process with Mike Musina picking up the W. So, folks, thank you all for watching more Rank Seasons here on the channel. If you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba forever.